Good Sunday morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. How did you like being woke up to the series of three earthquakes early this morning in Kansas? The first earthquake, a magnitude 3.4, which was at 629 and 36 seconds, 324 people reported feeling. Now, there is a chance that any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock of something much larger. And shortly afterwards, at 11.31 and 30 seconds, there was a larger earthquake, a magnitude 3.5. 1,404 people so far have reported it on USGS. And then it was followed a little bit later at 12.02, which would be 7.02 local time by a magnitude 3.0. The 12.02 is universal time. So this one was at 7.02 local time, and 171 people reported feeling this earthquake. The first earthquake, the 3.4, people probably didn't know that they were woken by this earthquake. So when the 3.5 occurred, yeah, they knew that happened. It was reportedly felt over a very wide area, all the way up to Lincoln, Nebraska, uh, Des Moines, Idaho, uh, Tulsa, we got. Um, Omaha City in Oklahoma. Uh, let's see. And we'll zoom in here. Yep, you can thank the oil and gas industry for causing this earthquake. Just three months ago, there was a series of earthquakes in the same location. Here we got uh, 2020, which was December 8th. This is today's earthquake. And let me bring it out. I got all the dates. These are all December's earthquakes of last year except for the most recent and I got the dates here we got the 3.5 from today and these are all from December of last year as of October 1986 there was over 118 oil and gas wells in that location here you can see Eastboro oil field oil and gas data here we got, this page has not been updated. You can see a lot of the links aren't working. We got the Kansas page, oil and gas index, uh, KGS homepage. But anyway, um, they got two different names from for two different outfits working there. Um, Viola and Mississippian. But it's not Mississippian, it's uh, there in Kansas. Abandoned wells as of 1986, tw 29. I don't know how many they got there now. I didn't spend a lot of time looking it up, but here we got the leases. We got Morley and Ketman leases. Let me pull this over for you. Yeah, we can thank them for all your earthquakes. Back then it was Eklund Drilling and Silver Creek Oil. And here you can see the page was put up by the Kansas Geological Survey. And more names of different companies that are drilling there in that area. Um, there's quite a few. Yeah, it's a long list of names. And it looks like there's three pages of companies that are working there. You know, what they do is they inject water into the ground to fracture the ground, to make it just shock and break like glass. And then they inject um, water and, and sand or other types of chemicals to force the oil and gas to come up out of the ground. So it's not, ju not just um, wastewater that is being deposited. It's the breaking up of the ground that they're doing to extract the oil and gas. Yeah, can you imagine um, shattered glass under the ground, which is activating um, previously inactive fault zones. This oil field, it says here, was discovered in 1925 in the county of Sedwick. Its production comes from the top of the Mississippi Lime. And according to this paper, over 4 million barrels of oil have been extracted from this oil field. I believe this was from 2005, 1932 to 05, it says. 
I'm sure you had some light damage, and, and I mean light damage, maybe hairline cracks, things that fell off the shelves. But this type of oil drilling is capable of creating huge earthquakes and even killing people, and it has in the past. The second largest earthquake ever created by fracking was up in Canada. That was in 2015. That was a magnitude of 4.6. The largest fracking earthquake ever in the world to happen was in China. That was in 2018, a magnitude 5.7, and two people were killed because of that earthquake. It actually might have been as large as a 6.0. Now, there was also a magnitude 6.0 earthquake that China denies was caused by fracking. That was in the Sichuan province. Over to the right, we got the uh, Three Gorges Dam. I haven't done any research on that earthquake. Um, but there is an article on Reuters about that earthquake. And in that one, 13 people died. Just like the United States, China is trying to become oil independent. Many of you probably don't remember how much oil and gas we used to import into this country until uh, fracking became more feasible and the technology developed where it was easier to extract um, the oil. But it comes with consequences, which is these earthquakes. And if there's ever a magnitude 6.0 earthquake in this location, and you can see it's a highly populated area, there would probably be more deaths than, say, the 13 that occurred there in China. So did you feel this earthquake? Did things get knocked over? Did you have damage? Please put your information down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, often YouTube unsubscribes people. They think you're bots. <laughs> I don't know why. Always be prepared for a disaster. Have your heavy furniture bolted to the walls. You know, bookshelves, TVs. If there is a large earthquake, get away from fireplaces and windows. Get under something very sturdy. Do not get in a doorway. Doorways used to be, because of past types of construction, was the strongest part of the building, but that's not so anymore. So please put your comments down below. And once again, thank you. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.